Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Today we are going to be doing video 4 of our energy changes topic and today we're going to be looking at batteries. Now, why do we use batteries? So, um, we use batteries because they're great portable sources of energy. Can you imagine if everything had to be plugged in to mains electricity? How awful would that be? Can you imagine? You wouldn't be able to go anywhere with your phone, you wouldn't be able to play with your toys outside, you wouldn't be able to um, play anywhere on the go, you wouldn't be able to... A lot of things would be restricted, you had to have uh, carry wi extendable wires around with you to be able to take anything anywhere that was electrical. Um, batteries allow us to take things um, out and about um, without having to have them charging uh, or plugged into mains electricity 24 7 um, and that's so useful now w let's look at a battery more in depth and what it's made of so there are three main parts to a battery okay and those three parts are an anode a cathode and now this one's tricky to remember because it, it makes you want to think something owed, but it's not. It's an electrolyte. It's not an electrode, that's something else. And um, just a little side note, anodes need um, to have a plus VE next to them and cathodes a negative VE. And this is because of the charge that they carry. So... Um, let's have a look at the parts of a battery. So, let me just direct your attention to this little diagram here. So, this vibrant orange thing at the top is, let's use metals as examples, this is a brass terminal. So, this is the anode. The brass terminal is the anode. Um, now, this grey casing on the outside that is zinc casing, um, and that is our cathode, um, that's the negative. Now, if we go one, let's call them rings, inward, we've got a brown layer here, and then a bit of yellow at the top. And the brown layer is cardboard, uh, to separate the separate sections from each other. Um, but this stuff here, the yellow stuff, is sealant. Uh, now, that is crucial to have for the next ring in, which is white, which is, um, in this example, ammonium chloride paste. Now, this is our electrolyte, and this allows us to, um, this allows the electrons and the protons to flow separately, um, so that we can get a charge from it, and we can let power flow and um, generate power in it effectively. Um, now, um, if we go another ring in to this grey colour, the lighter grey colour around the outside, that is powered carbon and manganese oxide. Um, and that is um, something else. Um, and now, if we go into the very center, this dark gray thing is a carbon rod. And carbon is a strange one. Carbon is actually, in various forms, a good conductor of electricity, and in others, not so good. But, um, which, in terms of diamonds, thank goodness it's not a good conductor of electricity. But the carbon rod will conduct electricity and will allow electricity to pass through so it can get from one end to the, uh, to the other. Now, um, this, um, now, a, an electrolyte is, now, this is a very important point. The two metals, so the anode and the cathode, need to be different. They need to be different so that a charge can flow between the two. And also, if you're going to have um, 
an effective battery, one needs to be very uh, reactive. So, for example, uh, magnesium, and the other needs to be not so reactive. So, for example, copper. So, the outer bit needs to be more reactive, and the brass terminal here is less reactive. Um, so, one way you can actually test this is by making a fruit battery. Now, a great fruit to do with this with is limes or lemons, and this allows us to um, see, because the citric acid is a great source um, of energy. It's got a lot of energy stored up in it. Um, and if we have magnesium and copper, it has a very large potential difference for a fruit battery. And that is a great example of how anodes and cathodes and electrolytes as well work. Um, now, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, leave a like and comment if you want more videos like this. Um, and I hope this was a great help to you. Uh, and I'll see you again soon.